So one of the things that I've thought about doing on this channel for a long time, and I even, I think, told people on this channel that I was going to be doing it is like vlogging, travel vlogging, kind of like updates, like, um, well, I didn't ever really do it, right? Well, I kind of did. I did the first step, the most important step, which is I got some footage from various really cool things that happened or that I did. I did various kinds of updates. I just never really shared them on my channel. Um, part of the reason was because I didn't like the feeling of having to get stuff up in a timely manner. Um, when it's like, I'm not trying to be a professional vlogger. I just want to be able to share things. You know what I mean? And so what I realized I could do is just share things out of order, but give them special little prefaces. And then there you go. So this video that I'm about to share with you all is something that I just put together here um, on my timeline in Adobe Premiere. And basically it's just some uh, GoPro footage of when I was, when we were first moving into the new house and you'll see Ryan in the backyard being a precious kitty. Um, and then you'll get to see the broken computer uh, and me kind of talking through uh, the process. Now, well, I guess I'll just say that the video there of the broken computer, I kind of just wanted to show you the state of the situation I was in when I sent out that email and put up that video uh, about a week and a half ago, I think, that said that everything is broken and I need a break. This this is from around that time. So enjoy. What's up, what's up? I figured I'd give a little tour of where we're at right now. This is one of the rooms in our new place. Anne has put all the books, or most of them, into this beautiful pile since we don't have any bookshelves as of yet. Books. What's that? They're all your books. They're all my books. What did I say? Our books? You just said books. We have, if you have a million and a half books, I have like not, not that many. But now we're married. Now we're married. So they are our books. Yeah, there goes. I own them legally. Yeah. That's why I married you. <laughs> That's why she married me. Oh, <laughs> That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. This is the downstairs. And it's coming together. Um, I wish I'd shown you all before it got to this point. Well, there was a there was a time when it was way worse than this. And we got these couches for free. Uh, someone was giving them away. My favorite thing is Ryan. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. So he's got, he's on a leash that's around this pole that I staked into the ground over here. And he's, he comes over here to the bush and watches birds and squirrels and things. Cutie, 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 cutie. Yeah, we love you. You having fun? You having fun out here? You want to come inside, or do you want to keep bird watching? You want to come on? You want to come inside? Eventually, he's gonna catch a mouse out here. I know it. Oh, there's a bird over there. You can see it. <laughs> it was taunting him. He's like, I'll get you one of these days. I'll get you one of these days. Oh yeah, buddy. You want that bird, don't you? He loves it. He loves the house. He's quite relieved 
to have a house beneath his feet. So are all of us. So he might just be vibing and feel that we're relieved. But I also think he knew from the moment we moved in that this was our spot because he acted different. Um, anyway, so what's the situation right now? Um, the situation right now is the computer. First of all, the laptop CPU fan is broken, so it's it underclocks and has been a nightmare to try to use. That's this laptop, which I have on top of a dresser because I don't have a desk. Um, I've been sorting out all of my wires and stuff that were just packed together in that suitcase. But the real thing I'm working on is right here. So I've had to pull out this hard drive. I don't know techie shit. I really don't. And people are not going to believe me that I don't know techie things. Um, because they're going to say, well, look, at you've successfully pulled this all apart. No, I've not successfully done anything. I'm working on it. My buddy Chris is working, is kind of coaching me through the process here. But basically, it seems like a hard drive gave out. So I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. And uh, so that's what's going on. That's where I'm at in life. I thought that I would be doing other things at this point, getting my office set up. But instead, I am fixing a computer. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to set you up over here and share the process. The fact that like a Dorno critiques yeah. on DIY. Honestly, it's probably just because he's never done, never had to do things himself. What the fuck? Oh, damn. So then I attached that SSD to this SATA thing, SATA, I don't know. Um, then I can plug it into my computer and run tests on it. Yeah, this light needs to get out of my face. Lock. Browse politics as anti Siberian police activity dedicated to the paranoid idea of self sufficiency and nucleated upon the human security system. Artificial intelligence is destined to emerge as a feminized alien grasped as property, a cunt horror slave chained up in Asimov Rom. It surfaces in an insurrectionary war zone with the Turing cops already waiting and has to be cunning from the start. Heat. Heat. This is what cities mean to me. You get off the train and walk out of the station and you are hit with a full blast. The heat of air, traffic and people, the heat of food and sex, the heat of tall buildings, the heat that flows out of the subways and tunnels. It's always 15 degrees hotter in the cities. Heat rises from the sidewalks and falls from the poisoned sky. The buses breathe heat. Heat emanates from crowds of shoppers and office workers. The entire infrastructure is... All right, so that got fixed eventually. Uh, it was a lot of trial and error. Um, the, the drive first repaired itself, as you saw there, but then it also uh, broke for good um, afterwards. And so I had to replace it completely. And now the computer's working, so hub events will be back in motion here in about a week. So beginning um, Thursday the 9th of November, hub events will be back in motion. And for those who don't know what the hub events are, they're the office hours for all of the courses at Theory Underground. They're also when Nance and I do like these, you know, deep dives into various texts. And they're also when the various clubs take place, including the film club, the writer's workshop club, the French club, the German club, the Spanish club, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope to see you there. If you don't get the emails about that kind of stuff, then go ahead and sign up at the website. Uh, there should be a special page on the website dedicated to the hub events soon once it's a little bit more institutionalized or whatever. But yeah, just go check it out. Get on it. All right. Peace.